What shall we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. There is a link in the bio to several decks that I have designed and readings are now reopened. So let us have a look. What shall we ask the tarot today? What is the person on my mind thinking regarding me? The person on the viewer's mind, what is that person thinking of the viewer, please? What are they thinking of the viewer? As mentioned earlier, I am now back in the UK and all readings have resumed. They are open and you can find a link in my bio. So what are they thinking in regards to you? We have ancestors. Fidelity, unconditional love, and manifestation. There is a connection between the both of you that invokes devotion and loyalty. This little illustration here is of licorice root, known for its long-lasting flavor. Just as the two of you have created a long-lasting bond, once upon a time licorice root was tied underneath bridal beds for everlasting love and commitment. I always think it looks like two little hands that are gonna become clasped together. So if you are not already in a commitment, they may be thinking of a long lasting commitment with you. One that the both of you will be utterly devoted to. There is pure, unconditional love. And I know that that sounds like such a simple phrase but I would guess that many of us have experienced the kind of love that has been conditional, meaning that you had to meet certain conditions or boundaries or follow what they thought that you ought to be. And that is not the case with this person. They simply and totally love you with every cell of their body for exactly who you are. With this manifestation card, you are the walking, breathing, living embodiment of all of their desires and wishes come true. Let's pull tarot. Spirit, the person on the viewer's mind, what are they thinking in regards to the viewer, please? bottom of the deck we have the ace of swords the knight of swords the three of pentacles the tower and the two of swords do you see that we have all of these sword cards and the two of cups underneath the literal meaning of swords is that of the thought so you are very much on this person's mind with the Ace of Swords, this person's intentions are clear. They are very honest and truthful. And this can absolutely be seen as an engagement or a commitment card. They are thinking about this. They may also feel that this relationship dynamic always feels fresh and new. And you both have exciting ideas and adventures together. They definitely do see their future with you. The Two of Swords talks about a decision that must be made, that there is something that either has come or will be coming soon to a crossroads. In the illustration, these two are looking very similar, almost like twins. They may feel that you are both like-minded and that you will come to this decision together. They may very much want to come and talk to you about what actions to take next. Do we see the plumage and his cloak and even the horse's gown? Don't they look like fall colored leaves? So this may be happening very soon. The combination of the Knight of Swords and the Tower card give this essence of everything happening within a whirlwind and you have quite simply knocked them off their feet. The Tower card is about change, but this change feels like it's talking about your long term desire to be with one another. There is absolute and unconditional love as we have seen before. Look at their faces, they only have eyes for each other. 
and they reflect so much love back to one another. The Three of Coins is the card of collaboration. We see this one with his paintbrush and easels and this one with his paper and pen. You may both be very creative and they may be very well thinking about how you can put both of your skills together, maybe as some kind of business. As I look at the illustration, I see the one in the foreground looking at the other as if this is their muse, their inspiration. And this one here is staring off into the future. So as I look at this, it feels like one is looking more at the here and now, and the other one is looking at long term. And maybe that's where this needs to be met. These decisions and coming to a crossroads and what to do next. This is very beautiful energy and your person thinks highly of you. And certainly it is their intention to be a committed and stable part of your life. If you would like to learn what your person's thinking of you, there is a link in the bio to several different readings. I have a limited availability of 10, 10 readings. Readings for the upcoming 10th of October portal. There is only a handful of those left and all other readings including Zoom has now resumed.